The monsoon season has arrived here and at times the rains have been unrelenting. The first onslaught of the season has proved both damaging and deadly. Several homes were swept away in landslides and a number of Rohingya refugees were killed as the ground beneath them collapsed. Nabi Hussain is building his family a new home. They have been evacuated to a new camp for those relocated by the rain. There were 10 to 15 houses above us which started to collapse and all the mud and water was coming down into our home. We were very scared but managed to get out. Up to three meters of rain is forecast to fall over the next two months in such a congested area where hundreds of thousands of people are sharing toilets and water supplies, there's the threat of a disease outbreak. A let up in the weather today allowed for repairs to be made before the next deluge. Tens of thousands of homes were built in such a short period of time, stacked one above the other on the hillsides of this former forest. And it's now becoming clear that they are desperately ill-equipped to deal with the monsoon rains that have already arrived and are still to come. The estimated one million Rohingya now living in these camps are almost entirely dependent on aid. Although the Myanmar government has pledged to repatriate the Muslim minority, many are trying to establish a better life in Bangladesh and most are too traumatized to return. Saida Begum was raped by the same Burmese soldiers who murdered her husband. Last month she gave birth to a baby resulting from that ordeal. She told me she only kept the child because it would have been a sin to get a termination. I could not abort it and throughout the pregnancy I didn't feel right about having this baby. And even now I don't feel right and I don't have my husband or a son to help me look after it. The risks posed by the rainy season are placing an unwelcome stress on an overburdened population. Well, the system is already under significant stress, so this is additional stress, so it it's sometimes comes at a breaking point, so it's, the situation has been simmering for a long time, but this is just something we have to do. This is why we urgently need more funding. Having fled persecution and endured so much, the Rohingya people are still facing an uncertain future. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Balokali Refugee Camp.